Beautiful girlfriends of Carl Malone. Picture a man whose basketball prowess was matched only by his incredible physique, muscles like rugged cliffs, providing power to dominate in the post and outmuscle the opponents. His physicality on the basketball court was like a well-forged blade, sharp and imposing. He was a bad man on the court and for other reasons too. Carl Malone wasn't just a power forward, but a brute force of nature on the court during his 19-year NBA career. Just as you trust the mail to reach its destination, Malone's teammates and fans had unwavering trust in him to come through in clutch situations. The mailman didn't waste any movements. He efficiently scored points, grabbed rebounds, played defense, and displayed incredible work ethic and determination throughout his career. During his time with the Utah Jazz, Carl Malone was a two-time NBA Most Valuable Player, a 14-time NBA All-Star, and a member of the prestigious 30,000 Point Club. He was the epitome of consistency and excellence in the NBA, earning his nickname for an exceptional reason. But Carl Malone's talents weren't limited to the basketball court. His love life and the controversies that followed him off the court often made headlines. He was known for his charisma and, well, let's just say he had a knack for delivering more than just points. His off-court endeavors sometimes left NBA fans raising their eyebrows and questioning just how many special deliveries he was making. Carl was an NBA powerhouse who dominated the paint and made waves beyond the court. Get ready to explore the love, scandals, and charisma of the mailman. Let's play Full Court, baby, your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. Kay Kinsey is well known in basketball circles as the wife of the former NBA superstar, Carl Malone. She made her way into the limelight during the late 1980s as a model, captivating many with her grace and charm before stepping into the basketball world through her marriage to Malone. Kay was born on August 8, 1964 to Bob Kinsey, a retired U.S. military official, and Celestina Kinsey. Although not much is known about her parents, it is public knowledge that they met in the Philippines, where Celestina was born and raised, and they finally wed in 1961. Kay Kinsey has Filipino roots. Her parents moved to the United States in 1962, primarily settling in San Antonio, where Kay was born. They moved around the country due to his father's military position, but decided to permanently reside in Idaho Falls. Kay was sporty growing up, quite fond of table tennis and hockey. She was also a former cheerleader and fan of American football, a big fan of LSU and the Dallas Cowboys. After graduating high school, she attended Boise State University, where she earned a degree in sociology. Kinsey's life changed drastically after she won the Miss Idaho competition in 1988. Her increase in popularity may have brought her onto the radar of Malone, who had just hit the ground running, making it into the All-NBA second team and earning the first of his 14 All-Star appearances that year. They met in 1989 in Salt Lake City. Malone did, however, joke that when his future wife first heard of him, she had no idea who he was. He introduced himself as the mailman, a moniker he earned for consistently delivering packages. The basketball star says his wife was asking whether he was the first black mailman in Utah or something. After a short courtship, Kay and Carl walked down the aisle in December 1990 and have been married for 32 years and counting. The two have had a relatively stable marriage and even help each other with the house chores. Kinsey taught her husband to do the task when he went through a difficult period on the sidelines from the game due to an injury. After Malone retired from the NBA, his family moved back to his home state of Louisiana, where they established several businesses. One of their ventures is the Legend Cigar and Vape Shop, run by his daughter Katie Malone. Their business empire includes a clothing store called the 5.11 Tactical by Carl Malone, the Teriyaki Grill Restaurant where Kinsey usually is, and the apartment complex that houses Louisiana Tech University students, which he used to be a part of. Locals refer to the area where most of their businesses are as Malone Town. Since leaving their life in the spotlight during Malone's NBA days, the Malone family has adapted to an average life in Ruston. Kay claimed that he is not recognized as a basketball player in his community and that some young kids are unaware he played in the NBA. Carl is living a quiet and simple life today. But in the early 1980s, before Malone's NBA career took off, a storm was brewing in his personal life. Some allegations over time indicate that Malone, at 20, had a connection with a 13-year-old individual by the name of Gloria Bell. 
It's believed that this relationship may have led to the birth of a child. That time, Carl Malone was playing basketball at Louisiana Tech University. According to Bell, her family declined to press statutory rape charges because of his impending NBA fortune, except he then denied paternity of their child, Demetrius Bell. Gloria Bell's family sued Malone, and they settled out of court in a manner that allowed him not to acknowledge that he was the father. Gloria's father initiated legal action against the former NBA player in 1986, pursuing a court order compelling Malone to pay $200 per week to contribute to the upbringing of their son, who was under the care of Gloria. Though Carl refused to take any responsibility and provide them with any financial support, he agreed to help them outside of legal pursuits in an undisclosed lump amount with no strings attached to raise Demetrius. Demetrius became an NFL player. He was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in the seventh round of the 2008 NFL Draft and played for the Eagles, Cowboys, and Titans during his professional career. Bell retired from the NFL after playing as an offensive tackle for six seasons from 2008 to 2013. The 38-year-old former Buffalo Bills tackle admitted he was unaware of his father's identity until he finished high school. Gloria intentionally never spoke about Malone to Demetrius because she wanted to raise him all clean. When Demetrius finally met Malone at 17, his dad reportedly told him it was too late for him to be his father and he'd have to make it on his own. They reunited in 2014 with Bell saying in 2018 that they now talk nearly every day. When you believe things were already bad, they just got even worse. Malone was faced with another lawsuit from Bonita Ford, the mother of his twins Daryl and Cheryl Ford, born in 1980. Despite his illustrious 19-year NBA career, Malone faced legal repercussions and was held in contempt of court, leading to an out-of-court settlement. Both twins pursued basketball. Daryl and Cheryl played at Louisiana Tech, and Cheryl enjoyed a successful 10-year stint in the WNBA clinching three championships with the Detroit Shock. In 1998, Malone publicly recognized his twins, later admitting, I didn't handle it right. I was wrong. Father Time is the biggest thief out there, and you can't get it back. The few people who defend Malone may dismiss this piece as the work of a cancel culture mob, unable to let go of the past. Still, Malone has never publicly acknowledged Gloria or Demetrius, most likely because the explanation for having a relationship with a 13-year-old would be even more complicated than his decision to abandon them. How can we let it go if he hasn't even accepted it? Malone's actions have often been questionable and sometimes they become even more concerning. In 2004, an incident occurred at the Staples Center involving Vanessa Bryant, widow of the legendary Kobe Bryant. While approaching Malone, who was wearing a cowboy hat and boots, Vanessa playfully asked, Hey, cowboy, what are you hunting? To which Malone may have insensitively remarked, I'm hunting for little Mexican girls. This was particularly inappropriate given Vanessa's Mexican heritage. In another incident, after Carl's wife Kay provided Vanessa with Carl's phone number to facilitate seating arrangements for a Lakers game, the conversation between them reportedly took an unexpected turn. Malone is said to have provocatively suggested to Palinka, Kobe's agent then, why don't you come sit next to me and give me a big hug? It would make headlines everywhere. Also, upon an unexpected encounter with Carl Malone, Vanessa was taken aback. This was the first instance Vanessa had communicated with Malone without the presence of either Kobe or Kay, remarked Palinka. The conversation grew more peculiar as Malone inquired, Do you like me? Vanessa diplomatically responded as a friend and as Kay's husband. Attempting to confide in her, Malone pressed for a secret but Vanessa reminded him of their respective marital statuses and the significant age gap between them. Malone's subsequent quip, Oh, like your daddy, made Vanessa uncomfortable enough to end the conversation and inform Rob Palinka. Although Malone initially mentioned the incident to Kobe, but he later refuted the account during a call involving both couples. This effectively severed the Bryants' ties with Malone. When questioned in 2015 by Mark Lamont Hill about his rift with Kobe, Malone, deflecting from his actions, audaciously proposed a physical confrontation with Kobe. The NBA icon Karl Malone, once revered for his prowess on the court, now whimsically navigates supermarket aisles, perhaps pondering over snack choices. While his illustrious career is marked with commendable feats, it also witnessed its fair share of turbulence. 
Now, the man who once asserted his dominance on the basketball court revels in a tranquil family life. No longer the talk of the league, he might, however, be the highlight of your local grocery store. So on your next shopping trip, keep an eye out. You might just spot the mailman fulfilling his shopping list. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel, Full Court. Before we end this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At Full Court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description.